Hey everybody, Mike and JF here. Want to take a second to tell you about NordVPN. Nord. That's right. We're so excited to tell you what's going on over there at the VPN uh, building. They probably have a building. Don't know. I actually VPN don't. Headquarters over there. I don't what have are access. They doing? I, what are they doing? And honestly, where is the office? And that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Where is stuff when you see it on the computer? I don't know. It's actually really hard to tell. That's because of VPNs, <laughs> probably. Um, here's the thing about NordVPN. <laughs> I personally can access content from over 59 different countries by changing my virtual location with but one click of the mouse. Uh, of course, in Mike's case, because he has a weird mouse setup, one click actually equals two clicks. <laughs> Fuck off. <dude. laughs> I'm, I'm fixing the mouse situation. <laughs> it's very weird. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> Mike clicks once, his mouse says, oh, click twice, yeah, no thing, no problem, boss. It's just like a harder working mouse. I got it for, it's like a, not a, not a normal, it's like an industrial type. I guess it's for like industrial it's factory for, stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's for professional mouse clickers. Shut up. <laughs> it's for power <laughs> users. Um, I live in the U.S., that's actually true. But with NordVPN, I could be anywhere in the world virtually and access content from those regions. This means, for instance, I can watch Peaky Blinders early on UK streaming services. I'm not doing that. I'll just <laughs> you tell you. Good though, if you wanted to. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not doing that one. Um, pretty cool tip, though. You want to you want to you want to read something for free on the computer, except for when you go there, they say, "Oh, it's a paywall." Though you got to pay up if you want to read our stuff. Yeah. Go on NordVPN, click a different country. They'll let the people from other countries read the stuff for free all day long. And I just and yep. to, to me, I'm taking that money I saved. And I'm I'm storing it in a very secure uh, crypto fund, so no problems there. <laughs> Thank you, NordVPN. <laughs> um, I'll never miss my favorite show, gang. Geo restrictions are a thing of the past. Uh, grab your exclusive NordVPN deal right now by going to NordVPN.com/yks or use the code yks to get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan plus. One additional month for free. It's completely risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. NordVPN. Access a world of content with just one or two clicks. Well, it's time to crack another six-pack of Kickstarters. Hope that these ones don't suck too bad. Cause I think that these ones stick in my mind and be the thing that makes my can jail go mad. That's all, that's all, that's all. Great. I'll still keep drinking that The podcast. Hey, Mike JF. Uh, about 20, 25 minutes ago, I tested positive for coronavirus. And, um, you know, I'm back from boosted and everything. So I, I feel like shit, but I, I don't think I'm going to die or whatever. But uh, you might be able to hear in the background, I'm. Um, I'm watching the new mailbag episode, and uh, I decided to call and ask a question. And uh, that question's, you know, obviously going to be about a month ahead of time. So I bet by the time the next mailbag episode comes, you uh, will forget, or you just won't get played, or whatever. But basically, what's your uh, what's your sickness routine? You know, what do you like to do when you're sick? How do you handle it? Are you big old wussy? Or are you, like, too proud to admit that you're sick? Uh, what kind of food do you like to eat? Do you want people to pay attention to you? Do you want your mom to call you, like, 20 times to see if you're dead or not? You know, just what's your sickness state look like? That's all. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Welcome to White Gas. Mike and Jeff. Everybody to talk about some Kickstarters. But first, we're going to talk about COVID-19, a very serious topic. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness first discovered in Wuhan, China uh, in 20, 2018. <laughs> Most people infected with the virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment, which is why I say, yes, you know, let her rip. Um, <laughs> hope you're feeling better by now. Actually, I think that was the voicemail was probably like from six hours ago. So you're probably not. Yeah. You're probably not, probably not feeling great. <laughs> not back in action 
quite yet. Um, but we're skipping ahead. We're not. We're. You're right. We would have forgotten to do this on the mailbag. You're absolutely right. That's why we're doing it right now, Mike. What's your sickness routine? I don't think that I've ever been sick. Actually, I yep. can't remember a time when I've been sick. Uh, but if I was. Uh, I would want people to pay attention to me as much as possible. I want people to take care of me. I would be calling my little mommy and I would be, uh, saying, Oh mommy, you know, Oh little mommy. You would say (laughs) things of that nature. Yeah. I don't, uh, when I feel bad, I, I think, I think like most grownups, I use it as an opportunity to be left alone. Um, getting sick. Now, with COVID, obviously, getting normal amounts of sick is actually one of the best things that can happen to you as a parent, um, mm-hmm. because you can say, me time, baby. Get, Get away. Out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so, oh, I think I'm really contagious. You you do not want me to come in there and watch uh, uh, Disney Junior with you right now, babe. No, I really don't. Th- I don't think I'm up to, I don't think I could, I'm going to laugh too hard if I watch the episode where. And I'll start coughing. <laughs> The the yeah. the the kid. I'll be, I'll laugh too hard if I watch the episode where the kid, like, go is a it has like a is a DJ or whatever the fuck. God, you ever watch one of these fucking shows? Never watched it. Never <sighs> watched it. What is it like? He's a. Uh, I have the DJ of the school dance. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. What would or, be? Let's fucking come up with a Disney Junior plot. Okay. Right now. Let's do it. Okay. Put this guy's question aside. Who cares about this guy? <laughs> Let's talk about the thing that I just came up. With. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. What is the name of the show and who's the main character? Keeping in mind, oftentimes they're the same thing. Yeah. Uh, the show is called Rockin', Rockin' High School. Yes. Rockin' High School. And our main character is James Jr. Rockin'. And he is, he's, a, he's a son of like a famous rock star right and he just moved to a new school called new rock school. in high school and he has to he doesn't want to tell everybody like my dad's like a famous rocker or something right but he's like shy and stuff and maybe he gets the opportunity to dj at the school dance and he just blows the fucking doors off the fucking place yes and it's one episode of the show it's a basically it's like a uh, it's like a made for tv movie yeah because I don't know where we go from there. If he if he already kills it at Rock and High School, is there really anywhere to go from there? Yeah, maybe he. We could pad it out or something. Like before the dance, he goes drunk driving and dies, and he has to come back to life as a dog. And he is like has to tell everybody what really happened. Okay, we have like so many ideas. We should write these down. A dog. Yeah. <laughs> A dog goes to heaven. Okay. And uh, now this is just Poochie, right? That old show Poochie. You ever see that pilot for that show Poochie starring, uh, what's his name? No. Dan knows what I'm talking about. Dan does no not idea. know what you're talking about. No, talking look about at this guy. Like, like Itchy and Scratchy and that, that Poochie? That's, that's Poochinski. Poochie I'm sorry. It was Poochinski. It was like a dog cop. Pull that up, Dan. It's Poochinski. <laughs> <laughs> don't no <laughs> I'll, I'll pull it up my own fucking self hang on here what what Poochinski is this trailer it's a it was a it was a show that they it was like they shot a pilot for it or something and didn't sell the show or something okay but it was uh who stars in it there's a fan there's a, a, a voice actor guy peter boyle was the dog <laughs> peter boyle as the dog yeah it's so funny I'm and he pull it up, and he dies or something. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, they kill the dog, just brutally, fucking. Okay, they show it all. I, I understand why they, they couldn't sell it to a network or anything now. Okay, it's just like an hour of strangling this dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Hang on. Doesn't Maybe. seem like a good fit for Disney Junior. Um, let's see. Well, I can't find it. So Dan has fucked me again by not playing it. Ah, Dan, I don't know what we're going to do, man. I just, the Puchinski thing was such a whiff by you. We needed that. Excuse me? We needed the win. We needed the Puchinski win so bad, Dan. My bad. God. (laughs) You know what? Thank you. That's all I needed to hear, actually. 
Dan's back in our good graces. Uh, this is basically Welcome the back, congratulations Dan. Dan episode. Dan, <laughs> you did it, brother. Thank you. We love you, Dan. You're, you're number too. one. I pasted the link so somebody on the other side of this call, one of you two should be able to click that link. Peter Boyle is a tough, ill-mannered cop who is like this. On the line of duty. But that's not the end of his story. No, no. He's reincarnated. Ha! Surprise! <laughs> Streetwise bulldog in Puchinski. What are you going to do now? Well, first I'm going to try licking myself, and then I'm going to catch my killer. <laughs> former partner to put the bite on crime. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was nice. Look at me. I've become a dog. <laughs> Thinking in now. It's poignant. But it's life. It's precious life. It's unforgettable. You're a dog. Farted. A cop. This is ridiculous. This, uh, that is anyway. ridiculous. Right, the I'm whole thing. This. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, watch that. The dog puppet they use is very, very, so very funny. Holy shit. Ah, I'm a dog. <laughs> <laughs> can the, so can only one guy hear him or can everybody hear him? I don't know. My wife's been I watching we... this, this show called Pen 15. Have you heard about this show? I have heard it about it. Never seen it. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Dan, you know what I'm talking talking about? Talking dog in there or what? Yeah, I've I've seen a couple episodes. I've heard it's good. I mean, it was all right. Most of the time, people don't lead with, I've seen it, and then follow up with, I've heard it's good. Most of the time, <laughs> it's one or the other there. That almost makes it seem like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> I've seen it. I've heard about it. <laughs> I've seen a couple episodes, but I, was, I mean, yeah. as with everything, I was very stoned. Don't remember yeah. any of it. So. Understood. Yeah. It's but I was trying to ask my wife what the deal with it was because she was like, Yeah, they're like the 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 women who did the show are like they're our age, but in the show they are in middle school. And so all of the other actors are like I don't know if they're exactly in middle school, but they seem like they're that age, you know, they're approximate they're children, you know. And so I was like I was trying to figure out. So I was like, so in real life, are they our age? And then they're acting as children or did they do a Billy Madison where in the show they're our age, but went back into high school in order yeah. to then date children, which to me, I think is a, that's not as good a show. If in the show <laughs> they're our age, right? Child dating the show. Yeah, I think that wouldn't be. I can see maybe if at first that was the show, they were like, "No, in the show you should be young the whole time, not just at school." Uh, don't don't leave the school and go. Whew, I'm glad they didn't discover I'm a grown up this week <laughs> because that that happened in real life. Did you know that? What happened? Have you seen that where the people like pretend to be children and go to school? <laughs> no. I've not seen that. <laughs> you didn't Is that see the thing that happens. That's real. That's real. People have pretended to be kids so they can go to school again. That's cool. Yeah. I would really love doing math worksheets, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> the worksheets were uh, worksheet day was actually uh, worksheet day was actually <laughs> pretty cool. Um I don't miss school, Mike. I don't want to go back anytime soon. In fact, today as we record this, today is a snow day. The kids were out of school today. So right. It was they, snowing today. Do you see that? It snowed a little bit. I don't think any of it has stuck to the ground at any point, but it's fucking terrifying. I got water stocked up, bread, egg. That's what it's yeah. like here. If you don't live in Tennessee, you don't know what it's like when when it when it snows, when it snows a when it snows a little bitty bit. Actually, when it's just projected to maybe snow a little bitty bitty bit. People, uh, people are driving their uh, Ford F three fifties into the parking lots, running out. <laughs> Have to get the fucking bread. What are you doing with all this bread, gang? You know? When is the last time you've seen the end of a loaf of bread? Been a while. I do not go through the loaf of bread. I'm even one of those guys. You could you could probably give me one of those half loaves of bread. Yeah. That might set me up for That ain't bad. The half loaf. Half loaf. Half loaf of bread. Um, we were talking about, it's funny, we were talking about the Doughboys earlier, how they pulled off the incredible 
ruler episode where they measured a curly fry and the height of an Oreo and stuff. And I we saw just, that that I saw that it was going to win an award. That episode was going to win an award or had won an award or several awards. I read. I think I saw that as well. Yeah. I was reading that. Yeah, well, I was actually I was reading it over your shoulder actually um, <laughs> when you were re- you were reading it in a journal and I was reading it over your shoulder. Um, <laughs> And then it only took us about 12 minutes of this episode to get to saying we like half loaves of bread better than full loaves of bread. So I think we in the Dope Boys are on a similar trajectory for podcasts are in trouble. <laughs> We're running out of stuff. <laughs> oh, God, we got to think of something other than half loaves of bread. You know what uh, we should do? We should give yeah. an update on an old Kickstarter. A little bit Sorry. late on that. A little bit I was, late on it. You well, were looking I, away. I saw I had I an email. It. I was looking at my email. I saw I had an email come up, but it was junk. So, yeah. So I still, you know what? I leave some junk mail on just to get a notification throughout the day. Like, <laughs> still feels nice. You know, most of them, I most of them, I unsubscribe. I delete. You know, Marcus spam all that other stuff. But sometimes I'll be like, you know what? This one, I don't see this one that often, and mm. I got to look at my phone for a second, so that was kind of cool. Felt like somebody needed something from me. I had to turn the screen on, and then you got to turn it off. That's cool. Do you Did something for a little while? Do you remember, Mike, when you first got the iPhone X? You were the first person I knew that had the iPhone. The first guy on the block with the iPhone X. So so cool. I said, "I my buddy, my best friend has the iPhone X." And he has yeah. told me all about it. And I remember you complaining very specifically that if you just looked at your phone, it would it would unlock. And you got so pissed off that you would have to pick up your phone and look at it in order to continue looking at it. I don't remember what your fucking gripe was. I don't with remember it, either. But you it were so legitimate, mad. legitimate, probably, what happened. I wouldn't just make up something to be angry about. <laughs> for drama. The stupid, the stupid phone wants me to look at it. I'm so fucking mad. This is the biggest problem in my life. I think it was that anytime you touch the screen, it would like unlock or something. I think was the problem. Oh, that's true. What, I don't know what it was. So like right I know, now, it unlocked it, when you looked at it. So yes, I don't know it, what the fuck. If I don't the know phone, what I was on. If the phone, if the phone is locked, I know what you were on. If the phone was locked now and you and you tap it, it'll be like, oh, you must want something. Whereas you wanted to just idly tap on your phone and nothing happened. I guess I don't know what you were trying to accomplish. With I don't the, know. That was a long time ago. The phone tapping. So weird. Hey, back in my day, phone tapping is when you sat outside of the perp's uh, house and you got a... Go ahead. It was when you sat outside the perp's house and yes. you uh-huh. listened to see if he was going to incriminate himself by picking up the phone and calling a criminal and saying, I did the crime. Hey, I was thinking about doing a crime later. <laughs> I was thinking about doing like a big, huge crime. and I don't know if you knew... Uh, <laughs> any other guys who wanted to do the big crime with me guy on the other end going oh yeah i have some known associates i could maybe pull into this <laughs> um uh, i have this uh guy this guy suspect that i talked to about this perpetrator um oh you don't know him i actually have a crude pencil drawing of him if that'll help you picture him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lock in the fucking van. oh my god spilling my coffee all over my my big car phone <laughs> Um, I would uh, suck to solve the case in like five minutes or whatever. And then you're like in the van, and you have all this equipment <laughs> and stuff, and you're like, we, we're going to do this all day long. Honestly, Mike, I mean, I know you're joking, but that really is a legitimate, I think, critique of the criminal justice system is that the it's incentive. too good. <laughs> <laughs> well, rather, the incentive is to keep ballooning your budget so you can get more things to play with as opposed to actually yeah. solving a crime, even when such things actually exist. Anyway, uh, did on the old Kickstarter of politics. Star Universe is what we were talking about, gang. Okay. Episode one thirty six. Uh, this was this episode. I, okay, I don't know if this episode was called something normal, dumbass. But the person who wrote in said, "Hey guys, on episode one thirty six, something normal, dumbass." And it's capitalized as if it's the name of an episode. Yeah, but that was yeah, because I texted you to name it something normal, dumbass, <laughs> and you text you named it that. I guess because you thought it would be funny. You know what? You know what? Two years <laughs> later, I'm still laughing at it. So. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at your own joke. You're so <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> uh, anyways, we talked about something called 
Star Universe by some freak named Rex Reginald. It was some talk show where he showed insane videos of animal abuse from around the world. Sound like a real upbeat show we were doing at the time. And then talked to a Hollywood publisher lady. Was weird as fuck. Looks like he is still on some freak shit pivoting to what he calls the thought police where you can pay him money to fight against universities being un-American or some shit. Check it out. We got a link to it here. Thanks, guys. Hope all is well. Patrick, a.k.a. Old Patty in the Discord. Thank you, Patrick. Um, I did not remember this uh, Star Universe. When we talked about it, it had $1. It ended with $2. By KS oh, Bump. There we go. Um, and this was, <laughs> this was... Become a Star Universe guardian of the planet, a celebrity-driven TV network which solves dangerous problems. Please donate. Okay, so it was a TV network. I remember, I remember him sitting like at a desk talking to someone, but I don't yeah, remember. I remember his. Did he have like a CGI studio or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Let's see if we can skim through the video and remember. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Hello and welcome to the Star there it was. This is weird, yeah. Animals in the environment. I'm your host, Rex Reginald. You know, folks, there's a lots and lots of problems out there today, and they're not getting solved. Every time huh. you turn on the TV, there's something new, horrific. People are losing their minds. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree with the thesis statement. <laughs> I think this is this is one of those guys. Have you ever seen that episode of Bar Rescue with the guy who created the first karaoke bar? Uh-uh. Oh, it's a really good episode. Dan, have you seen that <laughs> one? You've seen Bar Rescue, right? I've seen that. <clears throat> Pardon me. I've seen every episode, but I don't remember that one. You'd, you've heard it's good. Yes, I've heard it's good. <laughs> <laughs> from, a, from a friend of mine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, he's a, so that guy is very... They have a similar quality here, which is... They're like guys who have lived in California their whole lives and are rich. Yeah. And as a result are very, very off putting and weird. And so the guy in bar rescues deal was he was like overly sexual with female patrons. He would mm. say, Hey baby, you want a blow job shot? Come on, get, let, take a, take a blow job shot. And he would have the guy like <laughs> sit, the sit on a stool and she would like grab the shot, you know, um, or he'd be like, there's come a, on, baby, dance. One of those guys, a, you know. One of those fucking guys in uh, season two of Righteous Gemstones. Have you seen this yet? Are you caught up on this yet? No, I haven't seen it yet. I want to watch it. But uh, he's just, he's such a great that guy. He's like a, a, a rich piece of shit type of guy. And he's like, yeah, I do uh, coin operating vending machines. I got vending machines all up and down. Yeah. Or whatever the fuck he says. And so it's yeah. like so perfect on point. It's like that guy. Yes. Oh, you know another one? Barry from Storage Wars. There's another yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Like California, rich guy. I love just that like type we- of guy. That's such a unique <laughs> specimen of guy. <laughs> An underrepresented archetype of weirdo. Yeah. Um, this guy gives me the, the vibes because he's got the hair slicked back, right? Mm-hmm. And because he's got the necklace that goes all the way to his belly button. And it, <laughs> I don't know why. That's just a weird... Too long necklace, characteristic yeah, if of I, these guys. If, if I saw this guy, I would say this guy lives in Vegas or this guy lives in Arizona. Yeah, he's Without yeah. Doubt, he's like that type of guy. Yeah. Um, his his bio says grew up in Beverly Hills, lived with the Beverly Hilton family. Rex's godfather was Audi Murphy, America's most decorated soldier and starred in over fifty films. Rex's mother was a well known actress named Genevieve Almal and had a co star role in The Devil at Four O'clock. Hated that film. Terrible film. No monsters. His dad Shit. was a decorated Air Force pilot and worked with President Eisenhower and was was a pert owner. Must be part, but he said pert. Of I worked st- with President I- Eisenhower. He works at my work. <laughs> <laughs> you know the president uh, right now, Eisenhower? Yeah. He works at my <laughs> fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> he says he was a pert owner of the Stardust Hotel in Las Vegas. So comes from money and is very, very strange. Has this studio... The studio is real. It's just lit weird. Um, yeah. But uh, and so is my access type. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the part where he has the guest. That was There's good. a that was good. What was that? <laughs> <for? laughs> we don't expect you to believe like us. <laughs> if you don't. But the, the thought police do. They want you to th- talk like them. And, you know, they're in college. <laughs> they have safe spaces in college where they can hold yeah. hands in case their feelings get hurt and cry. 
Yep. Man, when I went to college, that's that true. Was happening, you'd be laughed out of UCLA or wherever. You know, you'd be. Oof. I mean, you got to be a strong individual. You have to face the facts. I'll give you an example. We have pictures of the dog head in the bowl for the dog and cat meat industry. Blah blah blah. <laughs> blah blah blah. Okay, so that's that's what I was trying to get to <laughs> is because I thought there. I thought this video was the one where he had. The lady on stage with him, and he was like showing her yeah, the I grotesque thought, video. He must have replaced the video. He, yeah. yeah. So he's replaced the video with this thought police thing. And the one comment, the only comment on the Kickstarter page is, "I can understand you want to get attention to your project, but is it really necessary to have a shocking image of a cut off dog's head in a metal bowl with blood?" And that's because that's what he showed on his cable access show. And I would say, yeah, it is. It is. It's actually oh one of God. the first things. Oh, my God. I just went we... to the fucking website, and it's the second thing when you scroll down. Okay, so don't go to the <laughs> website. But, but Jesus. He's got, a, he's got a complaint here. .org and somebody complains. One person complains, oh, I was traumatized. <laughs> you know, because they saw the picture. Well, if people don't see the pictures, the images, they won't want to do something about it. So because of some little crybaby, we had one person out of the 8,000 complaints. Remember I, what I told you, these companies fold like an old suitcase. They think everybody's going to boycott them because one moron calls in one big, fat, disgusting crybaby. <laughs> okay, so be aware of that. They don't have the followers they claim they do. And if they say they, they have them, they're liars. Because I interviewed yeah. one of these uh -huh. devil-worshipping things myself that want to take down all religious uh, monuments. Right. <laughs> and uh, they were full of bull, too. They don't have the followers they claim they have. But they lie and say they have all these followers, and they're going to boycott CBS or ABC or blah, blah, blah. And the networks fold. So Imagine giving uh, a shit system. about any of this. I'm I'm the guy working the camera at the cable access station, just like not looking at my watch. Like, <laughs> is this guy not? How long, how long does he have the fucking uh, studio? How long is he here? What a weird fucking guy. I'm I'll, I'm going to go back later and watch all 25 minutes of this rambling. Oh my god! But for now, that's what's going on with him. Thank you, Patrick. That is cool. He seems like one of the coolest guys, maybe in all of. Yeah, it says now Vegas, so Sick. if we ever go to Vegas, maybe let's look up this guy and see if we can wipe some of the drool out of the corners of his mouth. <laughs> anyway, that is the update on the old Kickstarter gang. We have six more to talk about for you here in just a minute, but first, a word from our sponsors. This week's YKS brought to you by... Mike Hello Fresh. Mike Hello Fresh. What if that was a guy walking around? Oh, hello. I'm Mike Hello Fresh. What would that be like? That would be the one of the most craziest guys you could ever meet, I think. <laughs> the stories that guy could tell. <laughs> it's just yeah. a combination of me and Hello Fresh. And so it'd be kind of just two different stories like right. Like a a story about being lazy and sitting around and then like a story about like Delivering home uh, cooked uh, ingredients or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking Michael Bay for this one, maybe. Um, the new Michael year. Old, Michael Old Bay. Oh! <laughs> Hello? Hello. The new year is a great time to focus on what's most important to you, whether it's saving money by ordering less takeout, learning to cook, or prioritizing your wellness. I'm here to say, why not all three? And HelloFresh is here to help with endless options to make cooking at home simple and enjoyable. Boy, that's the big two right there. Simple and enjoyable. Mm -hmm. uh, and they do it too. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal of the same quality. And you can save, on average, over 65 bucks a month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. That's more money to put towards those other 2022 goals of yours. Mike, what are you going to do with your extra $65 a month? I will be uh, <laughs> sixty five bucks. Putting, I will be putting it in a Roth IRA, <laughs> JF, and that's and the that's, wisest thing you can do with it. And that's on God. You know that that was the answer that I wanted to hear from you. <laughs> you know that that's what I wanted you to say. You're looking at the Roth IRA. You're saying, okay, I gotta, I gotta get this. I gotta get this money in there because I, I want time in the market. And that's yeah. really smart, Mike. That's a really in reality. Smart it's just me googling Roth IRA and then 
closing the tab <laughs> is how far you get. Okay. That's pretty good. That'll pay for one month of internet service. <laughs> HelloFresh is great. I've had some HelloFresh meals in the past, and then I've driven some HelloFresh meals over to Mike's place, and hopefully he's eaten them as well. I have not watched him eat the meals, but they were there one day and gone the next. So hopefully they're in his belly. Yeah, he did come back and check. <laughs> he's like, he did come back and inspect the uh, fridge and make sure I ate it. <laughs> I'm standing outside your window in my sicko shirt, Mike, making sure that you <laughs> spent about 20 minutes preparing the HelloFresh meal and enjoyed it. Uh, it, was, it was nutritious to your body. Um you guys got to go check out HelloFresh for yourself right now. Go to HelloFresh.com slash your Kickstarter sucks 16 and use code your Kickstarter sucks 16 for up to 50, sorry, 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash your Kickstarter sucks 16 with code your Kickstarter sucks 16. You get 16 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. And I'll be looking through your window to make sure you used it. Also sponsoring this week's episode, Mike, Code Academy. Your boss may not recognize your full potential, but Code Academy does. With Code Academy, you can learn the technical skills to advance your career or start a totally new one. For instance, Mike, you might want to say, "Forget this whole podcasting shiznit. I'm going to go out on my own and I'm I'm going to start being a yeah, like a I don't know, like a computer repairman." Sure. Computer, that be nice? Yeah, you could be a computer repairman. You show up, you've got the belt on you that has your various wrenches. What's the problem? <laughs> um, I, my computer my, my computer won't turn on. I don't know. I've, I've tried everything. I've tried pushing the button. I've tried plugging it in. Nothing's working. Yeah. What can you do for yeah, me? Yeah, I've seen this a, quite a few times. Uh, luckily, I went to Code Academy, and I can help you out with this uh, problem. You see this power button? Oh, uh, wait. Is that that's the, your issue. That's, the, that's the, your issue. What, is, what do I do with it? Do I push it and then... You're just gonna want to, just gonna want to jam something in there so it's always on. <laughs> Over 50 million people already know how to turn their computer on, and they also know that Code Academy is the best way to learn to code. That's because Code Academy not only teaches you job-ready coding skills, but also helps you build unique projects for your portfolio, earn certificates, and even prep for technical interviews. Okay. Finding the right career or job can impact your life so much. Uh, one day you could be sitting in the office uh, watching uh, BBC Sherlock because you don't want to do the project that your boss handed to you <laughs> because the person who hired you left and he ran out of things to give to you to do. Uh, the next minute you may wake up and you, you might pinch yourself and say, am I, really, am I really doing content creation for a living on the computer and the computer runs on code? That's right. It could happen to you, too. With Code Academy, you can learn at your own pace and get qualified for in-demand jobs. Choose what you want to learn from building basic websites to artificial intelligence and everything else you could want. No matter your experience level, you'll be writing real working code in minutes. Plus, you can learn coding languages including Python, HTML, CSS, SQL, JavaScript and more. It's SQL. I looked it up after we recorded the last ad. That's how I knew how to say it. Go to over 50 million people learning to code with Code Academy and see where coding can take you. Hopefully right into the computer. Get 15% off your Code Academy Pro membership when you go to codecademy.com and use promo code YKS. That's promo code YKS at codecademy.com to get 15% off Code Academy Pro, the best way to learn code. That's C O D E C A D E M Y dot com. Promo code YKS. Code Academy. Let your computer work for you for once. <music> Lastly, Mike, we got our friends over at BetterHelp sponsoring today's episode. Well, it's better help time, gang, and you know what that means. It's time to say Mike is not happy and he needs to fix his problems. Mike. For like the millionth time I was thinking the other day, I was like, damn, I should fucking take advantage of that better. <laughs> fucking give all of my problems to someone else. Wouldn't that be no that wouldn't be so nice? You just fucking say, Hey, I have all these problems, you know, and they're like, God damn, now they're my problems, and you're walking away from them. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's not exactly what it is. 
not a hundred percent what the point of therapy is in general. All right, I'm gonna say just a bunch of stuff and you figure it out and tell me what to do. <laughs> just actually, just text me. I'm gonna be driving around for a while and I will be looking at my phone in the car. <laughs> is something achieving you from preventing your goals? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think I'm all mixed up, Mike. My friend, you sound like you need better help. It does sound like that. Uh, Dear BetterHelp. Also, I'm thinking it's like letters to penthouse for some reason. Dear BetterHelp, you'll never believe what happened to me at work this weekend. I confused a sentence uh, slightly. and On my friend... your ad. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Please send me as many free products as you buy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. BetterHelp. We'll assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. In Mike's case, they're going to put him in a big cage and they're going to give his professional therapist, I believe, a chair and a whip. And hopefully <laughs> they won't be able to figure it out together. <laughs> um, connect. In a safe and private online environment, it's so convenient. There's even three rings that you could – you're in a circus. I can't think of anything yeah, else with circuses. You were trying there for a while. And it Look, I tried. The point is Mike is – Cuckoo! You can start communicating <laughs> under 24 hours. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling. And these of now of days, we all could use some of that, if you ask me. You get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. And gang, there's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many, many areas. Okay. Anything you share is confidential. It's convenient, professional, affordable. Blammo, the big three. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that BetterHelp is the number one company in the whole world. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? I ask. It could be. It could be one day. I don't know. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com slash YKS. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com, slash Y-K-S. They will not whip you. They will not whip you with a whip. (laughs) Oh, it's six-pack time. It's six-pack time. It's time to do the six-pack time. It's time to do the six pack time, Mike. Um, I made the mistake of clicking on the Thought Police page, and I'm like looking at it. And I, ah, fuck! I think I'm going to read this whole website. God damn it! I don't want to do this. I have other stuff to do today. <laughs> it might be cool. Might be cool. The new Nazis, the Thought Police. They're the ones that want to edit what people say. Mm-hmm. I, you have a different opinion than they do on a topic. They don't debate. They get angry. That's fascinating stuff. I might just sign up for a $30 a month donation to this guy uh, with the yellow text on white background just to see what. Anyways. See what happens. Maybe it will help. Um, Mike, we got six Kickstarters here, and you know I don't want to tease too much. I don't want people to get their hopes up, get really fucking excited, and start squirming around in their fucking seats and vibrating and everything. But the truth is we actually have seven today, Mike. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, we got seven. What? My, man. my guy, we got seven of Dan, them. Dan, can we even do that? Am I getting paid extra for this? Oh, maybe, maybe we can't do it. Well, uh, we might just, <laughs> maybe we'll stick with six today. Um, the first one I got for you guys is called Magwalk. Magwalk. The five. It's, I sound like a bird. Magwalk. Right? You do. You look like one, too. <laughs> yeah, and you smell like one. You what? Stoop, you motherfucker. Fuck you, piece of shit. Mad Walk you. is five-in-one modular shoes for all of your daily needs. Yeah, it really is. You know, you can switch styles instantly, and they've been designed with a portable pocket case to keep your essentials uh, wherever you go, natural leather or vegan. Um, this is cool. This is actually sort of a, this is a brand new thing we've never talked about on here before where somebody makes one shitty version of a shoe and then says it's actually seven shoes in one, um, even though it's not. Because it's uh, like a leather loafer, right? And you get what? You get like little tassels to clip on, and then it's like, that's a yeah. fancy fucking different shoe. Or you get like different fronts to put on, now it's like a sandal. Yeah, something. I mean, what kind of fucking idiot thinks that that's a different shoe? <laughs> the same shoe. <laughs> it's the same shoe. You put a little chain over top of it, though. I don't know. 
So the yeah, so here's the things you can do with the shoe. So this shoe is sort of the type of shoe that a, I feel like a startup guy wears on vacation. Yes. He's like walking. Percent. He's he's walking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually thinking of the shoe as more of a metaphor. <laughs> um, so you've got these, these, I mean, I guess the shoe looks okay for what it is. I'm not going to wear one, but it looks fine for what it is. One of these little like boat shoe type, you know, things, whatever. I think I need to get some of these type of clothes. Well, Stop just wearing like a t-shirt with cum all over it or whatever this is. Whatever. You think you, you ready, to, you, ready to, you ready to upgrade your wardrobe? I think I'm ready to start wearing human clothes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but you're not going to go right into the blue and white vertical striped long sleeve dress shirt with khaki shorts above your knees and uh, brown leather loafers and Ray-Ban sunglasses. You're not going to go right to that, I don't think, are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're going to immediately start driving around in your dad's Ferrari. Um, <laughs> that looks... Uh. that. That could be a cool new era for Mike. Yeah, Porsche Mike. Mike's got his Porsche. He's hopping out of the Porsche. He's going, hey, are you guys going to come by later? We're going to be drinking some champagne. And I'm like... Looking just like Ryan Felipe. <laughs> cruel intentions, dude. Just fucking... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's exactly right. And I'm fucking my sister also. <laughs> <laughs> so in this bag here, the travel bag, you get the shoes. You get... Two of the tassels. I like to tassel them off with a little bit of olive oil, but in this case, you're going to be tasseling them off with two, <laughs> two little leather, basically to turn it into like a. What's the brand that has the little fucking? Am I, is it just Polo? Is that what it is that has like the little tassely mm, things on the shoes? Maybe. Or like I don't know. Does Dockers make shoes? I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But but these little these little fucking things. Yeah, loafer. I guess is what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Um, and you, so you can put those on there. So you can have plain or you can have loafer style, or you can have chain that goes across the front of it. So it's like a metal chain that attaches to either side, which is not a shoe I've ever seen. Somebody do a metal chain on it. And I don't think it actually looks good either. To clip your wallet to the side of it. Well, I mean, that's what the other one actually is. Look at what the other one is. <laughs> it is a wallet. It says one pocket case. So, and then the fourth one is monk strap, which is like um uh, it's got like a belt type clasp that just goes over the top of the shoe. It doesn't really add anything in my opinion. But yeah. the pocket the pocket case is the one I'm really curious about. Is, is are they saying they don't that show you can... that on the shoe, right? No, they don't. Not in any of the pictures. Let's watch the video. Maybe they do here. What if you could have just one pair of shoes and get Why would you why would that ever be the calculation that anyone is making? I know I I know that I'm speaking from a place of privilege and that I have more than 5 pairs of shoes. I have several oh, I pairs. Did not, I did not know that. That was outrageous. <laughs> you didn't know I was doing that well. <laughs> I got five Damn. pairs of shoes. But like, I, I think I think almost anyone who can realistically afford more than one pair of shoes is is going in on that proposition of yeah, they're it getting, makes sense that I should getting, have more than one. They're getting like different styles of shoes. They're not yeah, getting like, like one one shoe that's basically the same <laughs> that you that you put some shit on. If you if you need if you're if you're the type of person who's interested in having more than one pair of shoes, right? Here here's what I think. This is the way I live my lifestyle. Here's what I would think for shoe types, right? You have your your slip-ons, your slides, flip-flops, whatever you want to call them, right? Whether they're walking around the house type or whether yeah. they're I got to run to the mailbox type, either way. Um or go to the go to the pool. You go to the pool, you got some slides on. Um then you've got the you got the nice dress shoe if you have a real job. I don't really have one of these. Or maybe you're going to a funeral. Maybe somebody some died. Funeral yeah. shoes. You have funeral shoes. I have funeral shoes. That's what I have. Yeah. Uh, you've got a boot that you don't care about getting dirty. Sometimes it's a tennis shoe you can do yard work in, but sometimes it's a boot too. Either way. Are you actually looking through my shit? Because these are all of my shoes. That this I is have. what the like, shoes. This is what people have. I got this the is normal. Shoes. I got the boots. I got the dress slash yeah. funeral shoes. The yes. interview slash funeral shoes. Right. Right. You've got the, and then you've got the, in my case, you've got the nice tennis shoes slash basketball shoes, whatever. Some nice, you know, some retro Nikes or whatever. They just like, I could wear these with some jeans and look, and look, you know, presentable. Um, and then, and then what else? You've got like, uh, I've got like a, like some people might have a pair of running shoes, exercise shoes, whatever. Yeah. Other than that, variations on a theme. Um, my wife has more shoes. She has a bunch of like the little, um, like ballet flats. 
different mm-hmm. colors. I got a green one. I got a red yep. one. I got a, you know, whatever. It matches my outfit, whatever. But I don't, I feel like you're not narrowing in on size gonna, eight. Jesse's wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to confirm or deny. I'm not going to say either one because I don't want anyone to know what the actual <laughs> size is. So I'm not going to say if it's, oh, that's much too small or that's <laughs> big. That's really big. I don't know. I um, uh, but it's not going to be, oh, grab my loafers. I need to go mow the yard. I'm going to put on my lawn mowing loafer attachment. And then that's the, these are some shoes where you go get a mimosa or something. And you have those pants on that don't go down to your ankle or they stop at your, yeah, just above your ankle or something like that. That's the type of vibe that the shoe is. Yeah. This is the guy who has the, the sunglasses attached with the, um, strap around the neck. <laughs> At five different styles in seconds. All the styles in our pocket, ready to be switched at any time. Wait, that, oh, that's just a carrying case for your accessories. Oh, it doesn't go on the shoe. It doesn't go on the shoe. So you, wait, so how do you get five out of it? Let's look at this again. One is plain, two is monk strap, three is chain, four is tassel. What's five? Yep. They're claiming a false. They they have a false. Uh, they're li- they're <laughs> lying. To a, a false what? A, fodul- a false modular. <laughs> false case. Whatever need. Modular modular. <laughs> Blocks come five different styles. Okay, here we go. Portable pocket case to carry. Your Let's stuff. see the five styles. It's yeah. extremely compact. It feels. I bet one of them is going to be you can All flip it around a different Take direction. Where you go. Walk smart every single day. Designed for multiple occasions, Magwalk is the perfect stylish addition. Got magnets in it, Jay. Yeah, I know. Walk to the office or hold a meeting in confidence with our monk strap. Okay. I just want to say those three things are the same thing. Work, Walk office, or meeting. Comfortably That's... to the office. Well, you wouldn't do that with a monk strap shoe. <laughs> so you wouldn't go walking around with a monk strap shoe, Jay. Yeah. That would be really weird. Chilling in the library or drinking your morning coffee in your favorite spot has never been more easy. Attach the what does that have to do with anything? I've never stylish. thought about it, actually. Evenings hangout? Our chain edition. Yeah, at nighttime evening, you can wear the shoe. Hangout? No problem. Friends. A what the fuck? A versatile pair of shoes that you can wear all day long. Am I going to watch this whole video and they're not going to say what the five styles are? <laughs> Astounding design. They just did, didn't they? No, that wasn't five. And lightweight sole. Are you Multiple including not using any of these bullshit excess on your feet. accessories? Yeah, that's that's one of the four I've got. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. It's not working. The strongest okay. magnet created. There's two. Or there's three, actually. There's four. Where's five? At Galliard, they will not stop show you. Yeah, I guess you're right. Remarkable experience, and we are ready for what's coming next. Starting from the production and the raw well, I don't babies, care. Our five is like all of them at once. Talented artisans. And I, you know what? I guess you. Wait, could you put more than one on here? Could you put the? Could you put the chain and the strap? One pair of shoes. Yeah, I don't know. That's one fucking. Pair of shoes, all my daily needs. I never. That's cool. This is really gonna bother me. This is one of those things where I don't know if I can move on until I figure <laughs> out what the emailing the fucking guy. Wait, what is the five? Can you just tell me what the five is? Because it's like Did they work, say it in the comments. Let me look. Like work or office or is it is it putting the is it maybe putting the tassel in a different place on the shoe? Could you put it on the side of the shoe? No, that's stupid. Because look, here's okay. Number one, original. Mm-hmm. Number two, number two, double monk strap. Okay. Level up your business attire. Number nope. three, tassel, a chic way to upgrade your style. Number four, chain, perfect for an evening hangout. Five, mystery add-on, unique style to your look. Fuck Unlock you. Soon. Unlock soon. Okay. No. No. The DLC. <laughs> I'm not playing your fucking game. You tell me what the five styles are before I spend <laughs> uh, $180. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> what even could it be? What What even do you think it could possibly be? It feels like they've got it all covered, and maybe they even stretched a little bit. What else is there? Yeah, I don't know what they could possibly. Maybe, you know what, the one I do not like? Let me see if I have it here. Oh, boy, I don't like this one, huh? 
See this shoe that I just posted here with the fucking leather? It's got the tassel yes. on it, but underneath that, it's got some weird fish yeah. scale type Roman soldier thing on it. I don't like that. It looks like the skirts that, that they would wear, yeah, and like the 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 Trojan War or something. Nothing wrong yeah. with wearing a skirt, JF. All right, I don't know why you had to turn it into oh something nasty. Oh, trust me, I'm a skirt man. <laughs> I'm a skirt man, brother. Um, this is fucking crazy to me. I would never buy this in a million years. I like the color of the leather, but that's about it. Um, $8,000 pledged. Of a $20,000 goal, 33 backers, 56 days to go. That is the mag walk. Just buy different shoes. That's my take on it. Mike, <laughs> what do you got? I got something called hand-to-hand wombat. Man, this number's going up from the last time I clicked on it, huh? Uh, yeah, it's oh, going crazy. up big time, Mike. A game of teamwork, towers, and troublemakers from the guys who made Exploding Kittens. Yeah. Those guys. Are you back on the fucking Star Universe website? Oh, my Don't God. Don't look at the dog. Oh, my God. Don't I look can't at bo- it. I know. It's all nasty Fuck. on there. And there's one like, you know, that one, too. It's like, Jesus Christ. Hand a hand wombat from the makers <laughs> of Exploding Kittens. Oh, God. Don't go to that fucking page. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. All right. Back to cutesy stuff. Hand-to-hand wombat. Okay. Cute thoughts. Here we go. Hello. I'm Matthew Inman, also known as The Oatmeal, and this is Alon Lee. We're the creators of Exploding Kittens and Throw Throw Burrito, and I'm here today to tell you about our new game, Hand-to-Hand Wombat. Here's how it works. You're all given a secret identity, either a good wombat or a bad wombat. Then you scatter a bunch of bricks in front of everyone. Everyone closes their eyes, and the good wombats build towers by stacking bricks together. The bad wombats try to wreck those towers by stealing pieces, removing them, rearranging their order, or just generally causing chaos. Again, everyone has their eyes closed, even the bad wombats. After a minute, everyone opens their eyes and discusses, argues, yells, and eventually votes on who they suspect is a bad wombat. After a few rounds, the good wombats must complete the towers before too many of their teammates are eliminated. Otherwise, the bad wombats win. And because everyone has their eyes closed, the game is almost as much fun to watch as it is to play, because you're witnessing in real time this hilarious ecosystem of people trying to work together, but one of them is happily screwing everything up and then lying about it later. Exploding Kittens was born here on Kickstarter seven years ago, and since then we've been on a quest. That quest originally was to make entertaining games, but has changed since then. It has evolved. We don't just make entertaining games anymore. We make games that make the people you're playing with entertaining. I know. I already let's know. All take, let's all take a minute, okay? Let's all just take a pause, <laughs> take a break, and let's take a minute. These the people behind this are are more successful with knowing what people want than I could ever hope to be. Um, Look, all it would take, okay, is just you, you, you. I mean, there's there's this idea of integrity that you have, <laughs> yeah, and you just have to chip away at it, I guess, a little bit. I, I don't say, I don't even think no I truly don't think it's possible even if I don't know that I have that much integrity first of all but I I I also don't I don't think I could actually come cuz the, the I think the fantasy you tell yourself a lot of times is you like you see like oh yeah, uh, how I met dumb. I could do this how I met your father is uh, is on or fuck go, CBS ghosts or uh little uh, what's the what's the smart kid that he has the little sh- little Sheldon yeah whatever yeah and it's like, oh, I could fucking write Little Sheldon. Newsflash. No, I couldn't. Yeah, you don't have that brain to do that. There's you could no do way. It. You could do it, and you would be fucking miserable at it. I but those people are shining, man. They're <laughs> great. They're great the at zone. what they're doing. You just have to acknowledge at the end of the day, I don't value this at all. And I think actually yeah. it's like a net negative that people do value this. <laughs> And yet, I could not do it. I actually couldn't do it. You have to it. kind of admire right. that this person has identified that yeah. there are these people that are into this or whatever. Mm-hmm. It sounds like I'm describing our show. Fuck. <laughs> All, every I, time. Every single time. I know. It's the, it's true. It's true. It's just other sides of the coin, except for our side is a very small by comparison. But it's the correct side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the right side. No, you're right. It's the right side. <laughs> But it's smaller, and it never uh, it never comes up. The dark side is always facing down. <laughs> um, well, like, like the, these guys in the fucking coin guys, you know, you have to kind of respect the hustle, even though it's fucking disgusting and nasty. You kind yeah. of have to give it up 
They did it. For there that being that many stupid people, <laughs> in, my, in my opinion. It's just like the corner corner guys, right? Yeah. They they hype it up and they say, I have this big following or whatever, or yeah. the Ice Poseidon guy in that article is saying. Yeah. Just that just the just whatever it is, just being like, oh, okay, well, this is I've identified enough people where I can take advantage of them. Right. <laughs> this just a this, total scumbag fucking move. This is opinion. at least this is at least creativity. Yeah. They're at least doing something. They're at least doing something. This is not, not just straight I, ripping someone off. Not just straight up destruction. Yeah. This is a, this is at least something that makes somebody somewhere happy. Is it me? No. Could you make a board game that would make me happy? Absolutely not. But <laughs> I appreciate the effort. You know. Um, and these guys. Oh, I just read that they released Megopoly, the Meg the Stallion Monopoly. They just released <gasps> that Parker, Parker brother or whoever did that. I so. simply must be going. <laughs> C- clearing off. Taking all of my kids' trophies and shit <laughs> off the table. Swiping them <laughs> off. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, this, to me, is also, I will just say, you know, irrespective of what you think about these guys' art, um, I think that the social deduction thing is so far away from my target that it's, it's just it's laughable. I don't think you get further away from what I'm interested in as far as a game than the social deduction, the group mechanic of aren't I a stinker made yeah. into a game? Because but, I mean, there's people who love that. They love it and they love watching it. And I get I, that's fine, you know. But to me, the, I want competition. I want there to be the. I want somebody to be pissed off at me for yeah. longer than they. To carry a grudge for yeah. weeks or months. That's what I'm after. If if there's something where if there's some if, if you want to make the game like I'm trying to stack a pyramid and someone won't let me stack the pyramid, that's make it fine. A real pyramid. Let's make it a real fucking pyramid. Let's get out there. Let's get in the dirt. Okay, I'm serious. We got the pulley. We got the levers. Let's do this whole. Let's do it right. I don't want these little. And do you know what this looks like? Does it? Does this look like the little kids' toy to you? Where it's the little circular? It does look like the little kids' toy where you're stacking the rings. I mean, I mean doesn't that does. make you feel like a? No, I gotta <laughs> feel like a child playing your your child's, and maybe it is for just children. You know what age range is on here? Uh, it says okay. It says, says thirty six to uh, fifty eight. <laughs> <laughs> thirty thirty six to fifty eight year old white guys with beards and glasses. It says <laughs> that's too bad. Um, you know they're gonna make this game. They're gonna make a couple million bucks. They're going to get this game produced. They're going to send it out. Mm-hmm. They're going to do gangbusters. It's going to fucking... People are going to It's already it. up to 441,000 of 10,000. Come on, gang. Yeah, keep talking. Think, keep talking. Keep it's going to keep shit. going up. <laughs> it's, um... You know, the other thing is, is the $10,000 goal a little bit obnoxious at this point? You know, what are the odds you were going to hit that one at 9,000 bucks? Your last two have made 10 million, you know, or whatever it is. So you need the ten thousand dollars. Oh, if we don't make it to ten thousand, we won't charge your card. I mean, what are we talking about here? <laughs> you know, just take the act like you've been there before. Take the win. Say you want the million bucks. Just say you want yeah. it. You're yeah. gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You know, twenty six days to go. Come on, gang. I know, dude. They're gonna. They're yeah, gonna. They're fuck. already celebrating. They're already popping champagne over at the fucking. Uh, what is it? The fucking exploding kitten. The, <laughs> the, the weepy dork factory. Yeah, they're really excited <laughs> over there. So this is some YouTube show that plays board games, which is totally fine. They were paid to play the Tantrum. Or wait, no, the name of the thing is the Tantrum. Sorry. Hand-to-hand Wombat is the game they're playing. Oh, my God. You think my intros are long? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is crazy. The game works. We've got to complete three of these towers in 90... Oh, listen to the way the plastic sounds. I hate that. <laughs> Are like cheap as fuck. Got like little bumps on them. <laughs> so they this guy's so excited for this shit too. I'm sorry, I don't mean to make fun of him, but he is very excited Five. for it. Oh, I've already messed up. Six and six. That's yeah. All the way through. It's that hard, guys. It's, exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna have nine. Okay, somebody is on their phone while he's explaining the rules, which <laughs> I guess I got to give him this. That is true to the experience of trying to explain a board game. As a team. Oh, look at the fucking room they're in. Fuck. Large to small. Correct. Six. Wow, that's a lot of board games. Six, yes, all the way up Six? to all the way up to, say, up to one. At that point, it's not fun anymore, right? Are you guys <laughs> on what? 
There's no way. There's no way you say you guys want to play a board game and you're like, which of the 6,000 do you want to play? And we're trying to build all three? All three. Oh, no. Oh. So then it's like additional traders at the end. Looking for the door. Oh, no. Wait, it's locked. (laughs) Two. Okay, here it goes. Yeah. One, go. You guys are doing the good stuff again. I gotta say, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so. Things go. Who stole the fucking things? I got six. No, okay, five. I got a six. This guy has that big energy of uh literally. Yeah. There's a six on <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Stop. Yeah. I got a five. There's a six on there. Okay. Gerblin. Or whatever the fuck that was. You know what? I actually thought it was going to be better than this. I will say. I thought it was I didn't <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be quite this bad looking. I am holding it because Do you have a six? Because they're so what's happening is that they they have a box of the parts, right? The little stackable yeah. pyramid parts, and it's, and it's all and it's, it's in the box. It's that in it comes the, from. the game, but it's very it small. Yeah. Very small. They have a huge table. There's like four or five of them. They're all reaching into this tiny box to try and figure out, I guess, to where the base is, the base of the pyramid with the pole sticking up in the middle. Right. Don't get excited, Jesse. Oh, and and uh, they they're trying to find, I guess, the next biggest piece and the next. To stack it correctly yeah. in order. And then but there's one person who's messing it up on purpose. One person who's just on the... He's reading a book, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, this... That really sucks to me. That's uh, That sucks to me. The, the mechanics of this don't seem... It's still going. They're still doing it. Yeah, I, I muted this because I didn't want to hear the clanking anymore. Oh, did someone get the pyramid, it looks like, maybe? It's the winner. Oh, yeah, there's my little small piece. Why isn't the other guy not messing? He's not doing a very good job of messing it up. He's just holding his piece in the air. Put it in the either play yeah. or leave. Play right or okay? leave. We invited you here to play a freaking game. If you're not even going to do it. Oh, man, they looked like they had a lot of fun with that. Well, that looks stupid. That's that's stupid shit for babies. I will say, you know, I was giving them a little more credit in the beginning. But boy, this. Yeah, I mean, look, look at that. At, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout our early explorations, we also discovered that playing in the dark and having listened to other players, they show like concepts of it. And it the, 1000% looks like that little baby toy. The prototypes are just the chewable plastic that you would let your infant roll around on the floor in, which is fine. Um, that's totally okay. You guys rock on. This shit is for babies, <laughs> but there's a lot of babies out there and they need games too. Um, so right now it's got a million zillion billion dollars, um, and it'll get even higher. So there you go, hand to hand wombat. Jesus, we need to buy this. I did. I, oh, I didn't even tell you this the other day. My kids are down in my office, which they should never ever be allowed to do. And they were <laughs> they were opening up my drawers and they were like, "Hey, uh, exploding kit. We got to play this. Exploding kittens. We have got to play this." And I was like, "I get. You know what? I guess they can play it. I don't know. Can they play it? I don't know. I don't know what it is." We got it. We that's our break in case of emergency. We can't think of an idea, and you know how many of those we've had, and we still haven't done it. So that's how strongly we feel about not doing it. Um, like the next one I got for you is called the Voice Viewer Speech to LED Transcribing Masks and Hats. Personal captioning masks and hats to show your words on a built-in LED screen. Uh, so basically, the idea here is you're going to be talking. And these dang old goddamn dadgum masks that these Democrats are mm-hmm. making us wear everywhere we go, by the way, mandated by law, yeah. written into the law now. The guy at the store, down at the store yep. wanted me to wear one, and I said, I just live right over there. Yeah. You know? It's like right. not even like I'm some guy, you know? Yeah. I didn't come from very far away to go to the store, which is, as I understand it, <laughs> how this whole thing got started. <laughs> um, you can't, they can't I'm local, bud. <laughs> what? <laughs> they uh they can't hear you when you talk through your damn mask. They say, "What? Excuse me, pardon me, I can't hear you." Um and of course they're wearing a mask as well and they don't have it just simply pulled down to below their nose or below the bottom lip. Yeah, so you can hear them. Yeah. Um and you can't hear them either. So it's tough. So Articu LED founder Brian Kendall spent many hours working with the elderly in care homes and could tell many of them were having difficulties hearing with masks, plexiglass and social distancing. Something needed to be done. And what he said was what the elderly need is um electronics. They need to they need to they need to have electronics strapped to their head 
uh, which they can oh, easily yeah. operate. Um, very cool stuff. So how does this work? Well, you're not going to be able to see it. Mike maybe can describe how it looks, but you can maybe hear what it's like when someone talks with one of these things on. Have you noticed the difficulties COVID-19 safety protocols have made in communication? Masks, social distancing, and plexiglass barriers have all led to people streaming uh, The plexiglass barriers, yeah, that was really this tough. Is <laughs> voice viewer. So it's like a big... Oh. Yeah. For the retail side, having that LED, for sure. Personal, closed, suctioning, mask. Oh, man. So he has a microphone. It's a large, it's a large face mask. And at the bottom of the face mask, it has the words or whatever that he's saying scrolling across. So how does it work? Well, it supports English only right now. Um, You need uh, a new iPhone, iPad or Android smartphone to use these products. So there's an app that integrates with the phone or with the mask rather. The transcription seemed a little slow on the video. Will that be improved? Yes, we're adapting a better chip for the production models that will allow us to send instant text. Um, so that's interesting there. Um, you can remove and clean the electronics, I guess. Um, they're going to be, let's see, it's black hats and masks. And no, there's no difference between this and a regular mask. You can even add a surgical mask underneath if you want that extra protection. That's what they say here. Um, my take on it is that it looks absolutely fucking insane. <laughs> it does look insane. I'm, I'm trying to find this. It says he was featured on Dragon's Den. So I'm trying to find his thing. Oh, wow. Dragon's Den. And I think I found it. I think he made something called Date Mate. But I'm not sure. I gotta Date- look. Let, me, let me look here. Date Mate. That sounds like a neat uh, product. <laughs> I think it was like some astrology dating thing he made. Okay, and so presumably they bought into it right away. <laughs> They'd be stupid yeah, not to. Mate. That's funny. All right, we got to watch that, yeah. Okay. Well, do you have it now? You want to watch it now? Yeah, I have it now. I mean, what do you, where do you think I got it from? I was doing a bunch of work just now, and uh-huh. then you asked me if I freaking had the thing that I was working on. Yeah. Well, so I guess basically I should just be getting a message from you <laughs> right about now or maybe even a, a few minutes ago where you... <laughs> I don't want to play it because I think it'll start playing. Hang on. <laughs> it started auto play. Right. Oh, boy. Dan, you see this fucking guy? Can you believe this? Amateur shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. Okay. Let's see. Here I think we go. that's it. I don't know. Maybe it's not even it. Maybe we're watching a, the wrong thing. Who cares? Well, either way, we're going to have... TV. We're going to have fun with it, man. Yeah, you guys just kick back and relax. Let us watch the TV for you. <laughs> no, this is not the guy here, is it? Now, let me fast forward. Dun, dun, da, dun, da, dun. Oh, they probably don't use the same music on Dragon's Den, do they? I don't believe I've ever seen Dragon's Den. Oh, you've never seen Dragon's Den. That is so interesting. And yet I think you this were... is the guy. Just Google his name. Brian Kendall is his name. Is it? I don't know who the fuck this is. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? it doesn't even say what it is. John, it uh, doesn't show the app or anything. Dating, Sorry, it says dating app company. Yeah. Well, you goofed. Well, hey, thanks what for, else is going on? <laughs> Mike, thanks for the link. Um, okay, here it is. Sunshine Solutions, I think. Let me find it here. Nope. This is an old fucking thing from 2015. He said, thank you, Dragon's Den, for airing my episode. Sun Sign Solutions is where my date mate and matching system can be found. And you go to Sun Sign Solutions. Yeah. Fucking site's dead. Come on, man. What's it going to cost you? 15 bucks a, a year? Loser. This guy's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> well, the voice viewer um, is something you might want to wear if you would like someone to stop and squint and stare at your mouth. For minutes at a time as you eke one sentence out. Um, the other thing you could do is honestly just back up a few feet and pull your mask down and speak out loud. Should not be an issue. I was at, uh, I went and got a physical a couple of weeks ago or last week, I guess it was. And they said, hey, is it okay if you turn your, if you pop your mask off just for a second so we can get a picture for your file? And I said, uh, no, don't touch me. Don't come near me. You're yeah. scaring me. No, I just fucking said, sure. That's okay. I will, uh, I'll stand back here for a second 
and I won't take a gigantic breath uh, while we're in this room <laughs> together for one second, and then I'll put the mask back on. Should be pretty simple, um, but... I love that people are like, I can't breathe with it on. <laughs> it's like, we're in like year six of this, bro. You got to yeah. get that under control. Here. You got to figure something out. I mean, I guess... I guess if you're if you if you are if you're working with customers all day long and you have the mask on and they can't hear you, it would get pretty annoying. But I yeah. also don't think you're going to be wearing the LED face mask that transcribes what you're saying while you're at work. Probably not, right? Yeah, you're probably not going to be doing that. Would be my guess. Uh, plus, the mask Dude, costs about forty bucks. So the guy in the guy in the video, especially with retail <laughs> LED, <laughs> whatever. I couldn't doing tell what the, he was. Doing the man on the street, in the game, <laughs> not having anything to say, yeah, and also also the fact that they like edited it obviously, and that was like one of the best ones, presumably. That was one of the <laughs> best clips, yeah. Well, that uh, we on the on the Go Off King stream, we played a game as a as a bounty, which means if you haven't seen the stream, if you don't know if you don't know the lingo of Twitch, um, we basically go on there and we play social deduction games, try to find out who the bad guy is. It's really, really cool stuff. Check it out sometime. Um, <laughs> they give away prizes. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Uh, drops are now enabled. We um, so we, uh, a company will sponsor us to play the game for an hour or whatever. And we played this game, and it was actually pretty fun. I did like it a lot. Um, it was similar to uh, like the Left for Dead, like zombie type of games, right? Except for it was in space; it was alien stuff. And uh, I this has never happened before, as far as I know. But the company that makes the game went through and like grabbed some clips of the other streams that they got yeah. to play the game and put it all together on a highlight reel on their YouTube page as promotion. And I went and watched. I was like, wow, what? I was like, what? I wonder what, I wonder what clip, I wonder what clip they got of us on there. And uh, I went and looked at it. And so, first of all, it was on Pipe Night, which is where we, people can play a certain dollar amount yeah. to play a sound effect of falling metal pipes hitting the ground for, I think, three minutes long is how, it, how long it is, I think. It a feels very, like very, yeah, a very, very loud, obnoxious sound of metal pipes hitting like a concrete floor. Um, and it's just repeated the same noise over and over again. It's not even new noises. And so it was pipe night. So that's what was going on there. Mike, you must have been on the stream because your picture was in the bottom right hand corner of the stream, but you didn't say anything. Mitch was there. Um, and I want to say, I feel like, I think Chris was there as well. So basically there were five people fully invested in not saying anything about the game that we were playing at any point and being as distracting and as, as annoying as possible. And they managed to eke out a clip of, I think, about six seconds where nothing insane okay. was happening. So I saw the clip also, and I was like, I watched for uh, the your guys' part or whatever, and it was like legit like five, six seconds of no sound whatsoever, except for like the game sound. Yes. And I was like, well, one, this is totally amazing because there's always some fucking <laughs> obnoxious shit happening on the fucking stream. <laughs> And two, it's like they're not even doing like a cool trick shot move or anything like that. It's just you. I think it's you walking forward for like six seconds. I was like, why I, bother? I really did. I was just walking in the corner. Yeah, like. <laughs> it, I know somebody on the stream was like, "Oh, they got a shotgun here or something like that." Yeah, and I was that like, was, "Damn, what a fucking cra- crazy highlight!" And then the other, the the others. I mean, did you watch some of the other ones where they were like very clearly? Going YouTube mode and having oh, like dude, a crazy yeah, time. Yeah, I, I was watching that and I, I, I said out loud, I was like, Jesus Christ. Because the fucking person who was like talking was like, you know, something will happen in a game where it's like some physics stuff will make like a mo- character model like land in a crazy place. Yeah, yeah. And then they're like, fucking, oh my God. It's the same thing. It's like identifying what will yeah. make people like, fr- uh, you know, I don't know what it is, but they're fucking... The, one of the zombies or whatever got his legs caught in a window and this fucking streamer's like <gasps> ah! and I'm like I'm just like is this what other fucking streams are like yeah I think so god bless them they tried to find they tried to find something of interest oh my but- god you guys are you freaking seeing this right now and it's like you know, it's like a it's like code and stuff <laughs> I the, I think the only thing you can hear on ours is Stefan spamming the goo grenade, goo grenade, goo grenade, goo grenade <laughs> in the background. You realize you can just press that as many times as you want, but it's like yeah. 
it's muted, so you can't really hear it that much. <laughs> oh well. A pipe night was a bad night to do that on, but anyway, the game was fun. Uh, 40 bucks for the mask, uh, voice viewer speech to LED. I don't think this is going to take off. I think people are pretty much done with masks, honestly, in general. Um, I think uh, people are getting pretty resentful of even if they see you wearing a mask. They don't like that either. So um, I think we were on the forefront of that a long time ago. We were done with masks a long time ago, and we, mm-hmm. said, we said no more. We're done with this shit. We saw it for what it is, basically. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's like another control technique that these guys roll out every once in a while. Yep. It's another control mechanism. You put the mask on, what's next? You put Putting on panties and walking around? <laughs> what's next? What's next? Getting your little bottom smacked? Yeah. Huh? Seriously. Dressing Seriously. Dressing up in, you know, pretty clothes. Okay, wow. Hey, nice mask. Why don't you put this butt plug in your butt and walk around? Okay, great. Okay. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do what's, that. I will what's do next? it. Check. Check, check, check that Done box. and done. Already had one in there. What is next? You got any more challenges for me, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, you thought. You went, to go put, you went to go put one up there. Oh, you thought. <laughs> I'm already packing. You know I keep my, that thing on me. Pulling my mask down for a second and revealing a huge ball gag I've got in my mouth. Okay. Thought you had me, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. It's that's, fun. That's too much fun to do. Mike, what's the next one you got for us? Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> uh, yeah. The next one I got is called the Evil Charades. Just kidding. It's charades. I knew how to pronounce that word. Having seen My it kids before, would love and, that if they were here. They would think that was really funny if you said that. My kids would like it. A party game for disgusting and horrible people. <laughs> it says... <laughs> It does actually say that, yeah. Um, oh man, this guy guy who made it, Nigel Moron. You see this, <laughs> Nigel Moron. <laughs> oh, Nigel it's Moran. Sorry. Yeah, get a brain, get a Brian. What was it? Remember that old sign? Get a brain Moron. The game for dirty minded and non sensitive people. You act it out with consequences. I have serrated a game <laughs> that is for the dirty minded. <sighs> Evil yeah. charades. To start with, I have designed the game, which took a long time to get right. So let's get that out there. Yeah, right off the bat. Just so you know, I didn't. Do, I didn't. I didn't just do this. I didn't just slap. I this. didn't just come up with this. I've been coming up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it off for a prototype deck, which costed over a thousand pounds. Uh, Jesus, shipping on that, was <laughs> which included CE rating, laser cutting, printing, and all the rest. All the prototype, whatever. Whatever you get reviews. It. I need Jesus after this. These are just reviews. Yeah, the, they're in the video. I'm going to play the video. Are you a disgusting, horrible person with no morals? <laughs> Great. Evil Charades is a game for you. So this you is a Fiverr video or whatever. Act it out. Yeah. As the cards are so rude, we can't post them on here due to sensitive people. But here are some <laughs> subjects for yep. your viewing pleasure. <laughs> I'm gonna need Jesus after this. No, oh, dude. I had to act out. <laughs> and those forfeits are evil. <laughs> They're at like a trade show or like a comic yeah. or something. <laughs> the guy was dressed as Bob's Burger. <laughs> I approve of this game. I really do. Oh, these are way better than Cards Against Humanity. Oh, there you have it. There that is have that's the sound bite you go to the trade show for right there. <laughs> um they do they say they can't put the cards on here but they actually fucked up. They actually made a huge mistake that actually opens them up to a serious amount of legal liability. They put two cards. Oh wow. <laughs> on the campaign. Holding up a bank with your blank as your weapon. Yeah. And the card that they chose is a an old age pensioner in Bangkok's red light district. Yeah, I, I don't know if those are even meant to go together necessarily, or to d- just like just cra- just crazy. So I think it's sure. I don't think it's it's not Cards Against Humanity. It's not the matching points game. It's it is actually oh, charades. Yeah, did you act it out? I thought it was just another fucking clone. Yeah. Right? So why even compare it to card? Why even bother doing that? Because it's not that. Yeah. But that's what they did, anyways. Acting out an old age pensioner in Bangkok's red light district. Jay, if you want to take this one. 
Uh, hello, everyone. I'm an older English gentleman here. I believe this. I believe pensioner means I'm retired, and I think mm-hmm. red light district in Bangkok is meant to indicate I am here as a sex tourist. So now, right. if we can just simply exchange uh, my my money, I didn't get it exchanged at the airport, so I have uh, British British pounds, pounds, which is fine, which is totally except, fine. I accept ass- those. I assume you accept those here, and we can just we have also some... accept a check if you want. <laughs> I'm a pensioner, so I love checks. <laughs> I don't know if they have checks over there. Anyway, it's time to have sex. Um, <laughs> that's Evil Charades. There is also, Mike, a bonus on the Kickstarter six-pack on the YKS Kickstarter. Y- YKS, your Kickstarter sucks, actually, the name of the show. I thought we'd throw in this bonus here hold, as well. Hold up, hold up, bro. What? Go back to that one that we just fucking... What, are you not... You didn't get everything out you needed on that one? Look at Nigel Moron's profile here. Uh Uh-huh. Now go to Created. Uh Uh-huh. This guy created something called Arcade Tycoon, Kickstarter funded in 48 hours. Oh. Wow. What was that? That's weird. It's like the little um, uh, three-quarters perspective. Is that what it's called when it looks like this? Yeah. This is like a legit looking game, isn't this it? Is, well, I mean, this is like not something that. It doesn't seem like the same type of thing. This it doesn't this seem is, like the same type of guy did this. <laughs> there's got to be some kind of template that he used to make this, would be my guess. But and then yeah. he goes on to create a fucking weirdo card game, charades card game. Weird. The, it is. This is something that I think maybe doesn't come across when you're listening to the show. But if you click on the profile of a guy who's done evil charades card game with a huge amount of misspellings in it and clearly yeah. doesn't have any idea for real cards. He only has two ideas for cards. What you would normally do is you would click on his profile and you would see zero backed four created. Zero crea- no, it'd be, <laughs> yeah. it would be, it would be four created, but it would be three of the exact same one you just looked at and they've been yeah, canceled or suspended or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So that's what would, you would normally see here. So then to open it up and to see a successful video game project, as the only other one wow. is very strange. It says, hi, my name is Nigel. I spent 10 years making short films and features, one of which was called Mayhem Behind Movies. Never heard of it. Probably. <laughs> After that, I travel around the UK selling toys at events, and I started making a computer game called Arcade Tycoon. Neat. Well, wow. Okay. Comment here from Superbacker Churchill with a picture of Winston Churchill. As, I mean... That's a weird type of guy there. <laughs> the fucking weird guy. The Winston Churchill on Kickstarter. <laughs> says, came over from One Angry Gamer. Now, isn't One Angry Gamer one of the videos we watched on uh, YKS Premium one time? Over Wasn't it Ghostbusters we watched? One oh, Angry maybe. Gamer? Or was that like was that like the the yelling gamer? Or like the, cra- the crazy movie angry, guy? Angry video game guy. Yeah. Don't know. Scar- mean nerd, scary mean nerd, <laughs> the pissed off nerd guy. <laughs> Very weird. Well, um, gang, they've done it again. <laughs> they said they wouldn't do it, and they went and did it. They replaced <laughs> our favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my favorite character. <laughs> the original was perfect, and there was no need to mess with it. <laughs> oh. Mike, I've gone to the web page. I've actually I've hacked oh, into the shit. main you frame. You just unlocked some bonus cards. Yep. Your fart kills your dog. You have to act that out. Yep. Uh, but maybe you could also act out on toilet after extremely hot curry. Or this is the worst one of all for me. Stoned. Oh boy. Stoned. Um, what would a stoned guy do? Duh. 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 <laughs> Got any more of those goofy pills? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is, uh, that's kind of how you and Dan come off, yeah. Um, so that's Evil Charades. That was sort of a mini one. I thought we'd throw in a bonus that was one. Like, that was like one and then plus a secret one. And now yeah. we got a bonus one. So this is like a fucking eight pack, dude. I messed That's up crazy. by now we have eight pack. Um, let's just make this one really, really quick. Super fast, Mike. Let's take this one to the cleaners. It's called Cat Shit Crazy. 
When my kid was over my shoulder reading the Kickstarters I had on the document, she said out loud, cat shit crazy. And she was like, oh, she was like, oh, uh, uh, sorry. Of course you punished her. Uh, yeah, I, that was this morning. I have not seen her since. Um, I, se- I sent her away. Well, you still have that bar of soap in your mouth. <laughs> Uh, a crude and fast-paced word game. I thought this was just so similar. No need to make a different uh, Kickstarter entry for this, but I thought we could maybe play the video for this one and compare and contrast. I don't know what any of this is. So you stack all of these cards. Choking fantasy, it says. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it like Uno, kind of? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you stack all these cards and you make a jumbled sentence out of the words, is what it says. Make grammatical sense or die trying. Science majors fly through the poop brown cottage cheese. Screw you. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> That's one you could do. Grand, granddad body slams into through the feathery anus. <laughs> no way. Okay. All right. No way. Hang chill, on. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> wait. Wait a second. Rednecks or uppity city folk waddle like a penguin, but the dense, smooth horns antlers shit out entire oh. fucking galaxies painstakingly. <laughs> Aha! Got me laughing. Y'all got me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so that could be funny to do that. Um, the cards look dirty. I, they made them look dirty on purpose, which I think is very strange. Um, anyways, people love people love writing like poo poo and pee pee on a card and sending it out to someone. Um, all right, we all got to have something to do, you know. And this is passing the time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 3,300 of 2,019 backers, 28 days to go for cat shit crazy. Sorry, cat crazy. And for evil charades, we're sitting at 62 bucks of 27, 24 backers, 26 days to go. Okay, so people don't like charades. People would rather have cat shit. So there's a data point for your ass. Finally, Mike, I've got the last one on my side of the ledger called Poker Chase. No, it's not the latest hit single from Lady Gaga. This is actually... Another kind of game. Yep. I got the ref. Thanks. Dan Dan made a face like he was going to vomit. So I was just making sure. Hate Skaga. What's Someone. the problem, dude? Didn't we Chris already? What, is this the ninth Kickstarter now that we're on? La, I think it's la, like the tenth. Oh, ma, ma. <laughs> na, 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 na. Poker chase. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> <laughs> ma, 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 ma. <laughs> Poker Chase. No, Dan, this is not like the ninth. Come on. Poker Chase is a high-speed, fun-built game with all shuffling and no bluffing. This game will work for one to six players with no poker playing experience required. To play the game, you will deal yourself five cards. Look to see if you dealt yourself any poker hands. If you did, I just want to say, I just want to stop right there and say, look and see if you dealt yourself any poker hands. This would be the time where having poker playing experience actually is valuable to this game. That way you can identify what the fuck a poker hand is. What are you talking about? If you know how to do this, you're playing poker right now. But it has a big mat that you can buy and it has the little poker hands on it. Yeah. Kind of tells you what they are. Yeah, great. You you can look at that while you're playing the real game of poker. Stopping every five seconds to check and see if you have a match. Yeah, because they're upside down to you, too, because it's like across the circle. Two, two, in that five. Section on yeah, it's like. Number. <laughs> and mark your money tracking card with your earnings. Come on. Look at that. There's so and many things so to many do. Little circles and stuff. A, a bunch of little tasks to do. Oh, and then you get privileges. Deal a poker hand. Place those cards in the discard pile and deal five more. You will repeat this process until you have filled each section of the game board. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
Oh. Poker Chase comes with the game board, six decks of Poker Chase playing cards, a money track six, card, and poker chip game pieces, along with instructions. The fucking song in the background. Here, let me make this. <laughs> let me make this a little bit simpler for you. Instead of getting six decks of cards, the 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 little bingo chips you have to put on the game board itself, then the separate bingo card that you have to mark off, plus the privilege deck and keeping track of all of your money coins and tokens. How about this? How about you just play a game of poker? Here's a deck of cards, and you can just look yeah. at it. Don't have to look at a big fucking Kino sheet of fucking numbers. That's what it is. From 25 all the way up to 3,000, it has in increments of 25. And you just look at this and put your little... I mean, you have done way too much on this. Let's just play cards. Do you guys want to play poker tonight, or do you want to play poker chase? All the guys going... <laughs> I mean, poker chase, obviously. Chase, that's of course. That's the one with the big game Plain old poker. Board. I mean, poker's so boring. You stop right after you look at the hand that you have. You don't have any additional. I wish. I wish poker had. I was <laughs> the one that yes from the other day with the ones. <laughs> 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 the one cards for every suit. The ones. Oh my the god. Rocks. Guy, just not familiar with. Just not familiar <laughs> with what a deck of cards is. Even. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's no ones in this going to the store yeah, and buy no zeros either. Can I there's return zero this? Cards. <laughs> missing the... some numbers out of my deck here. <laughs> Where's the eleven? <laughs> um so bizarre. Thirty five bucks for poker chase or eighty dollars for the limited edition. I mean, good luck. I don't know what that is. Uh two hundred and three dollars of forty one thousand dollars for backers, twenty seven days to go. And if it's okay with Dan. I think we have one more Kickstarter to do. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> That's right, Dan. It's create your own special signature. Uh, have your own unique signature to showcase your name. Customize your signature by leaving it to a professional. You could have, uh, you could have somebody write your name with uh, like good handwriting. You know? Really, really, really strange stuff. Um, thanks, Seek for flagging this one. I'm going to play the video. Today, Mr. Johnson is about to agree to the job of his dreams that will change his life forever. And all he has left to do is sign the contract. He fucking sucks at cursive. <laughs> Oh, you're He's fired, Mr. Johnson, by the way. <laughs> he wants to make a great impression for his boss by showing professionalism through his sign, but realizes that he has never worked on his signature before. It's just your name. Just sign your name. It's yeah, okay. just honestly, you can do an X. It's still legal. <laughs> okay, pause. Let's be real. This situation is something that almost no... What I think is funny about this video and these types of videos is that this is a product, I don't know if it's necessarily marketed to an Asian audience, but it's made in Asia, and they use white actors in the video, and when he signs his name, he is using like the Korean alphabet to sign his name. So when <laughs> I looked at this for the first time, and he was like struggling over to how to sign his name, and then he did like the Korean letters for his name, yeah. I was like, no wonder you fucking need help with this shit. That's <laughs> insanely intricate. I just do like a loopy swoopy yeah, and I'm out of like there. A, like a circle thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to see because like a lot of times when we'd see these videos, they'll be having conversations that are like, it's like, I think we've said this before. It's like pass through the Google Translate filter a little bit almost. Mm. Like, I think there was a, I think we saw, maybe on the stream, we looked at the YouTube homepage where all the algorithm decides what you watch. And one of them was like a guy who said, I'm making some meal, but I'm doing it after passing the recipe through Google Translate like a hundred times. <laughs> and it's like a, it's a disaster, obviously, which is a funny concept. Yeah. But seeing a native speaker, presumably speaking like, like reading off of a, uh, like a script 
written by a non-native speaker or something that's been translated yeah. or whatever is like a very uh, surreal <laughs> thing to watch. But then to yeah. watch like a redheaded guy <laughs> sitting there in his suits trying to sign his name and he does like the perfect Korean alphabet. <laughs> and then they laugh at him, which like, I don't even know what's funny <laughs> like, about that. I couldn't even tell you what the Korean alphabet <laughs> looks like. Give the guy some fucking credit. <laughs> Very, very uh, strange. But I think this has got to be more important in other parts of the world than it is here because this is, like, not yeah. important to anyone at all. I say, with over 16 years of experience in specializing the art of signature for famous artists and world-class athletes, we're here today to help you bring your signature to life through autograph specialists on Kickstarter. Join our Facebook community to share your story of meeting a celebrity for a chance to win a free signature design of your name by an autograph specialist. I, I don't know what that means. What? Um, you know, I've talked about this before lately. We've been getting into uh, uh, collecting cards again like we did when we were kids. And I've, I've gotten a few autograph cards. And I will say that even – I think there's definitely a difference like between – parts of the world when it comes to the emphasis placed on cursive or signatures, but there's definitely a generational gap placed on it because a lot of the guys will do like literally their first and last initial as the signature. Yeah. Um, and then the people who are like s super big into this get mad because they're like, that's not, that's not fair. That's not a signature. I like the old song. I like magic Johnson <laughs> signature. Um, <laughs> But like, if There's you so look, much stuff to get mad at. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I would like, never have thought to get mad about that. Look at this guy. This uh, this is uh, Denny Denny Abja or Abdija, and uh, he is a rookie for the Washington Wizards. I pulled his signature, and it mm. definitely is. I would I would class this is in this this is in the area of a scribble. This is scribble territory for me. Yeah, it looks like my sig. It's not like any he, different like than he mine. Started yeah. to write it, and then he fell asleep, or something <laughs> happened. And, because they're also signing like a hundred of these at once or like a thousand of yeah. these at once and just going like imagine mine would not look the same on any of them. I always think about that when they have autograph authenticators that are like, yeah, this is this is definitely the autograph that this guy would have been signing at this point in time. And like <laughs> I can do two. I can, I'll do two checks back to back and I'll just be like, yeah, that's fucking fine. Just get it out of here. You know, <laughs> I'm just moving on to the next fucking thing. Just getting this signature from the fucking guy and looking at it and being like, actually. <laughs> Could you do? Could you do your whole name on here? <laughs> but this guy does have some beautiful. Um, yeah. I don't. You don't call it typography when it's written out, right? You just. I don't know what you would call it, but he did some handwriting. Penmanship. I guess. Penmanship. There you go. Yeah. yeah I mean, I look at this one. This one almost looks like um, the Eiffel Tower that he's gotten. Uh, yeah. Here, pretty interesting. Um, but I guess I guess to me maybe paying for a class on how to sign is maybe a little bit beyond where I'm at with my embarrassment uh, on my... Yeah, I'll just do whatever, man. I don't need to pay. You know, it's, here's one thing that I'm comfortable saying I do not need to pay money for. Right. A lot of stuff I'm not sure on. <laughs> Health insurance, still, the, the, the jury's still out. <laughs> don't know. Uh, a will or something like that? Yeah. Ah, right. Sounds like a scam. I don't know. Yeah. But I need to talk to you about some of that stuff, actually. Signature stuff. I want, not for me. Mike, it's time to get your affairs in order, I think. Getting my affairs in order? Yeah. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> the, the signatures here, he shows a difference between like, look at this Tom versus this Tom, right? Yeah. Look at this Jacob versus this Jacob. I mean, they're, it's definitely impressive. There's no doubt about it. Um, I, I think maybe where it comes in for me is I don't think I would be able to pull this off, even if you showed me. I think you could. With it's just like anything else. You just practice at it or whatever. Well, okay, sorry, I should rephrase. I'm not going to practice my signature. That's, yeah, it's more like... I have no interest in perfecting this ass. And, and you know what? Unless maybe I really... Seriously, if I were like a famous athlete who was yeah, doing... Yeah, if, if you were a famous footballer, JF, may, maybe, maybe I would put sick. in the work and be like, I'm really proud of my... It looks good to me to sign this and people enjoy my... Maybe I would care about that. Or maybe I would do like anything else on earth that I was interested in maybe and could just, afford to do. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I would just improve my life greatly in all other areas. Just uh, Actually, I don't want, I don't care about this. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's such a powerful feeling to have. Um, 
98 bucks, super early bird, quick and easy. English first name or last name or initial type signature. Six, you get six signature variations, two downloadable PDF practice sheets, two signature guide videos, online version of signature, and unlimited edits. Wow. Okay. I mean, that does seem like a good deal if you're interested in it. 200 bucks, you get the early bird professional type. So even more variations and more downloads and so on and so forth. For the right person, this must be a home run. Uh, this guy's got... Um, Mr. Choi is the name of the character behind these characters, if you will. Um, and he, he says he lives and breathes signatures. There are many signature designers, and I would actually pause here to say, is that true? Are there many signature designers? This is the first time this has ever <laughs> crossed my field of vision. Is this a whole industry? I yeah, I guess so. And if this is your job, how are you reaching out to people? Is this word of mouth or... You know, I guess we're talking about it. That thing where people are like, you're fucking talking about it. <laughs> works on it your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't so stupid, was it? <laughs> Actually, you sound fucking jealous now. I do. I am jealous of this guy and his uh, his penmanship, which is a word I just made up. Thirty four hundred dollars of two thousand dollars. Twenty eight backers. Nineteen days to go. Uh, pretty cool. Oh, Joel with a good question here. Hey, I'm left-handed. Just wondering. And the guy's like, yeah, we fucking thought of that. This is apparently my whole job to do this. So yeah, <laughs> I did think about the people who are, what are you talking about? Will it work for a left-handed people? Get out of here. <laughs> if you're paying for somebody to design your signature and you're left-handed, they send you back a right-handed signature. You have grounds yeah. to sue them. I think that's, that's yeah. malpractice. Um, Anyway, folks, that's the six, seven, eight, nine, ten pack. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope Dan enjoyed it in particular. Um, we've got time for one more segment on the show. It's called "That's Where You Come In." Ooh, you're gonna wanna contact YKS. You're gonna wanna talk to Mike and JF. You're gonna wanna call eight zero two three five nine piss. Send them something at their mailing address. Five four four West Main Street, two zero nine Gallatin, Tennessee thirty seven zero sixty six. They got a Gmail. The name of the ship. Twitter said your Kickstarter, and that's it. You're gonna wanna contact YKS. You're gonna wanna let them know you exist. Leave a little message for Mike and JF. YKS bot on Instagram for grill pics. All right, gang. Cam writes, Hey guys, love the show. Quick question. I started browsing Tick Tick the other day, and was and very quickly I was seeing a bunch of what I can only describe as piss fetish videos. There was no easing into it, just threw them right at me. I couldn't figure out why it thought that I had like a piss thing. So I started looking into it a little bit more to see TikTok's permissions. Well, I thought we were on TikTok. Um, regarding other apps, <laughs> microphone permissions, photo access, incognito mode, etc. And turns out TikTok can see literally everything. But more importantly, and I think the key to all this is, it can see the podcasts you listen to. The only podcast I really listen to is you guys, and you have things like the piss, this, shit, that, come this. So it's pretty much case closed. So my question is, do you guys both have a pit? 